dear students i hope you all are doing good let us learn about couplets today couplets the author is alexander pope he was a famous english poet who began writing poetry at the age of 12 quite early in his poetic career he acquired the art of writing couplets and used them to express very profound thoughts effectively my dear students what is a couplet let us understand a couplet consists of two lines of verse of the same length with the last two words of each line rhyming with each other i am sure you all have heard and learned about dohas in hindi exactly that is what is a couplet in english kabir and rahim are hindi poets famous for their couplets let's look at an example raindrops here and raindrops there raindrops falling everywhere so a couplet is what a verse consisting of two lines of the same length and the last two words rhyming with each other i am sure you can recall a lot of hindi dohas right now in your mind isn't it let's come to the first couplet it is with our judgments as our watches none go just alike yet each believes his own it means that like two watches never show the same time my dear students the judgments of different people would also be different and each person would always believe in his or her own judgment let us move to the next couplet it says he knows to live who keeps the middle state and neither leans on this side nor that dear students the best way to live life is to tread that is move on the middle path rather than leaning or bending towards to left or to right it is always good to follow a balanced state in life let's come to the third couplet for forms of government let fools contest whatever is best administered is best dear students only foolish people contest that is fight over the forms of government the most successful government is the one which has the best administration which takes care of its people and respects them let's come to the fourth couplet for modes of faith let graceless zealots fight his can't be wrong whose life is in the right for modes of faith means for different religions let the people who are mad who are zealots who are fanatic fight the one who follows the path of, path of truth can never be wrong in life let's come to the fifth couplet in faith and hope the world will disagree but all mankind's concern my dear students is charity people might believe in different faiths in different religions right in different ambitions in different aims but the only concern aim or objective of mankind of entire humanity of all human beings is charity is to have a generous heart and of be of help to each other that's the only concern or the only aim for which human beings are sent to this world so my dear students these were the five couplets i know they are very easy and i'm sure you've understood all the five couplets very nicely if you have any doubts do comment below the video and i would try to reply to all your queries thank you god bless bye bye